back to Mark 320. This is a demo of Go on Freeform. I have a file started up here, Bottle Cap 2023. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a bit of a cold. And I'm going to place this glass bottle, which is supplied or should be on D2L. So insert into current design. This is actually a uh, this is a fusion file itself. Sorry, construct set up here. Sorry. And we're trying to place this in a way that uh, we can use it for generating this bottle cap. Uh, it's 175 millimeters tall. So let's move it down so that right now it's the underside is on the origin. Let's move it down to minus 175 to put the mouth of the bottle at the origin. Perfect. Now, there's a reason we're using this and not uh, a step file. Uh, steps are usually fine, but for this one, we're actually after this sketch. It's complicated. Um, you can't adjust, for example, looking at the the uh, dimensions and all that stuff because it comes with the bottle itself. If you want to adjust things, we actually have to edit this guy. So let's go ahead here and edit this in place. It'll give us a warning, probably. I might have said okay to it. But notice at the top here, we've got finish edit in place. All I'm gonna do here is, for example, right click, hide dimensions. If you want, you can also, for example, cycle the component color, purple, nah. pink. It's actually kind of fun. It's like a lottery, yellow. Good. Click away to see it. Nice. Finish edit in place. Uh, a bunch of stuff happens. Uh, this stays saved until I save the bigger, this file here, but there has been a change. So this will show to somebody else who's on the team or somebody who's doing it. It sits as reserved until I save it. So that's fine. Uh, if we do any save, it'll save both. Uh, once we've got our, we'll do a save in a second here. That's our part. If we press shift N, you can see, oh, it's made of brown glass. Nice. Now we're going to do it in two ways here. We'll do it the wrong way first, and we'll do a better way after. I'm just going to hide this data panel. So somebody's done some work here, me, I suppose, and has modeled this guy uh, based off the real thing. We also have a snapshot a camera from my phone of the object we're trying to model. So let's have a look at that. There it is. Now, ignore the fact that it's beer, but what we're here is looking at is, you can see it's clamped quite tight around the top of the glass here. So it's quite tight around this part and it's actually crimped in. There's these little crowny type things. Uh, there's 21 of these. Uh, to make it easier to model for things to be lined up, we'll do 20. So 20, even though there's 21, it works fine with 21. It just makes it, a little more complicated to uh, select. So we'll do 20. Now, how wide is this? Let's just do a little investigation. It's probably where we want to start, 13 and a quarter millimeters. So what's that? Uh, 26 and a half. So 26 and a half across the diameter. So this is not the right way to do it. Let's start with this cylinder center it and we can just kind of get started we'll see some entries here in a second so we'll go 26.5 it's seven millimeters tall it's down in the negative direction and whatever we've got a bunch of stuff here we want symmetry circular but we want 20 and these symmetry faces what's going on with that let's try just one uh, that's what's going on. So this is how many faces are in between the diameter faces. So if I say, for example, four, we end up with 80 altogether. Okay. So we're gonna do a ripple. So it might be good to have one in between, say, okay. This all works, that's fine. So for example, we can do uh, edit form here. 
just do a little test. It kind of gives us what we want. Again, if I've got this select gray, the selection space is pointing out from it. All right, we can see how that's working. It's working fine. All right, we can do the whole top, scale that guy down. Start trying to kind of get onto that other face there. The problem is, and you can see this, we get these parts where we're starting to come across the glass clearly up here at the top. So this is quite a bit of work. It's not it's not unreasonable, but it'd be quite a lot of effort to conform to this shape first. We have this sketch. I'm going to cancel out of that and undo all the way back to not being in the freeform environment at all. Now, what I'm going to do this time instead is try and use this sketch. So this is my argument for the correct way to do this. So let's have a go at that. You can see here we've got a nice sketch available. And it looks like we can use it because we've placed a fusion file. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do that. So can we even do that? Create. Oh, nice. So I'm going to turn off chain select. Make sure that's off. Profile. This is actually going to get in our way. Uh, I don't want that. I want to start here. I'll patch it later when in the surfacing environment. So we're starting to select. Let's get an axis so we know what's going on. Uh, looks good. So let's keep going. We might have to turn off our preview. There we go. Now we have to be a little careful here. Uh, there's a gap there. It's a little tiny flat or straight line segment. Make sure we get that. So this will give us one body. It's not bad. Faces, uh, we go for 20. Symmetrical faces in between. Let's go for one for now. So we're getting the same symmetry we had before. Faces, eight, what does that mean? Right, so the more faces we add, the uh, more accurate the curvature. The problem is we don't really need to be ultra accurate. And the more we have, the more we have to manage. I'm gonna try, six looks good. All right, we're quite close. We can see this overlapping face, but then down here, we're not touching. It's probably what we want. So I'm gonna go for six faces with curvature. Uh, welding is, if there's separate faces, you can weld them together. So it'll do that automatically. It's not a bad thing to have to hold on. Try OK. A body appears, and it's one body, so that's good. Let's see what we've got here. So we'll have a look at our inspect. Section analysis. It's quite nice because it gives us the cross-section of the bottle. So we're a little bit proud here, that's okay. Fairly conforming around the top, it's also good. So look at our sample. Looks like we're following the top of the bottom quite close here and then it leaps. These kind of come out and poke out. Whereas this guy here is flattened down. So it looks like this is actually on the glass and this is poking up. So we've already got that. So what we need is 20 things sticking out. That's really it. Nice. Let's do a little test here. Um, because they're using 20, uh, I don't know what you call prongs, I suppose. We can we have good access to them while the cutaway is on. So we could go around to this back face. So even though we can't see it, we'll be doing some symmetry work here. Let's do a little test. Pull that guy out. Um, right now it's pulling perpendicular. Let's just make sure that we get what we want. Turn off our analysis. Yeah, it does it all at once. That's good. Let's undo that. 
So we can do this whole thing with this run and we can use the cutaway or the analysis section view, so I should say it right, uh, to make sure that we're doing some good work with this stuff. We're gonna, again, eventually thicken out. So let's go ahead here and do some work. We can use any of these. Now, before we saw it kind of poking out, um, it pulls quite a bit with it. So what I'm gonna do here is try and do some work, get this smooth first. We can see a crease here because this is creased. Some extra phases in here. So we might have too much stuff. So let's do some preliminary work. Let's try uncreasing that. It's not bad. Another option might be just to actually delete it. Yeah, that does not do what we want. We can see here, we just poked in quite a bit. So looks like it's crease, uncrease. Let's see, it's not great. Let's do some edit form. I'm just gonna try seeing that all in one pass. So let's make it start doing some work here. Uh, this is going to be a zoom, so we could, if we want, just go to scaling. Oh, might have to type some stuff in here. So 1.05, say, click away. Then maybe we want to move it. So we can use our filters here to Do what we can do best. This is not quite right. So let's get them both. So this is quite uh, fiddly. And so we'll just have to ease our way along. Maybe zoom this down. You can also use the center because we're just flat. So 0.96 is too much, 0.98, seven. It's not bad there. It's quite good actually. So let's click away. Doing not too badly underneath here for now. Let's just try increasing the size of this guy, a little tiny bit. So trigger it. So we can type it in 1.02, don't zero two, zero one. Let's stick with that for now. We can always fiddle it around later. Say, okay. Actually, we're going away from, it wasn't so bad before. Let's just leave it there for now. Now, I want these sort of scoops want to basically pull this out and leave these behind. So that's what I'm going for here. Let's subdivide these guys. So it doesn't matter which ones I pick as long as I'm picking a group so we can see symmetry running through the rest. Subdivide. Two by two. Uh, you might have specified turn off. Just toggle it on. Uh, we don't need them that well. This is what I want, but if you're trying it, that's not right. So it's two of those, one of those. T splines, how we love these. So this is good. So it's probably okay. However, if I go back and have a look here, it goes round and then starts. So maybe subdivide these guys. I want to get everything in between. Do that again. So click one, double click to get the range in between. Subdivide again. This time, it's this way. It's the same as insert an edge. So that's good. Now, let's try this. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one we pick. The green, either along the symmetry or in the middle. I'm going to try pulling out the middle. We can look at this in various ways. Again, control, one, two, three. One is faceted, 
And this is not a bad idea if you're just trying to get things organized. It also shows you, for example, I've got a bit of strangeness here. I've got a step here. If we double click this, maybe we should fix this first. Let's do that. So let's go ahead here and do just I'll pull this down to try and smooth this out a bit. Have a look at how it's coming through smoother. It's probably a bit more realistic. Okay, and then let's do what we we're going to try there. So we'll pick these middle ones. And let's just pull them out. Again, I've got selection space pulled out. So I can just kind of go around to the side, get a view of this. Pull them around. Now, I'm not entirely happy with this. I'm not pointing in a way I would like to be pointing. It's kind of in the average. Let's go to the end here. So, it's not bad. Sorry. Let's just do that. Let's pull out. Now, what I want, I want to pull out higher, so I've not got this right yet. So you can see what's going on here. I'm pulling out, it's working. So I'm getting my beginning, get the ripple, but it's not entirely right. So let's undo that. Let's cancel out of that. Lost one of my things. Sorry, forgot to uh, make that last one stick. Let's do that again. You can start to see how fiddly this gets. Get our smoothness down again. There we go. Sorry about that. So, what I'm discovering here is I need to break up these faces higher up. So let's break these guys up. I'm going to subdivide again. There we go. Nice. So now my goal is to try everything in between these guys. So this and that. Oh, not that. You get the idea. So from here to there and the side one beside it. And we're going to try and pull out the the little crowny shapes. Uh, this should work. So we'll see how we go from there to there. Edit arm. Now I could start pulling it, uh, but what I really want to do is rotate it out. Let's rotate around another pivot. So I'm going to set pivot, pick that corner right there, accept that. It's now ready to go. I'm going to start rotating now just to see if it works. It's not bad. Let's go above. And I've lost myself. Double click with the middle. So have a look here. It's not bad, not bad at all. Again, if this bottle's getting in the way, you can hide it. But for now, I'm trying to leave everything as much as I can. So let's just keep rotating around that new center. Let's, oh, we've lost our point here. Make sure we keep there. So rotate now. Click away. Might want to see it in the faceted view. Did that work? Well, it's not bad. But we discover here we've got, hmm, we're pulling out too much. 
So let's undo all that. So freeform is a lot of do and redo. So maybe what I should be doing instead is pulling out these points. Uh, so one way to select this, uh, so I can click the two ends. If I double click here, it'll select everything in between. Now I can pivot, say OK to that, and just try that. Going way too far here, because I'm just trying to get a feel for what's happening. Can look at a different view or a different style. Now see, that's quite good, because we've got this pull out. So maybe we can use a crease or something. So that's what I'm after. So nice. So after some work, it's a lot of setup and a lot of fiddling. Um, once we're there, we can then, for example, pull it. Everything's getting a little janky. Kind of pull it around. So this is easier to manage because we're just got one edge. Go and look at the view I prefer. So this allows me to for example, just pull this a little straighter. Let's look above. That sticks out about a millimeter and a half. get stuff sorted out here. So this is not ideal. How about this one? So I can pull this back. You can see the origin there, minus 1.2. It's not bad, so we're good there. So let's see what we've got for smooth face. It's still a little strange. It's more, it's more straight. So let's modify it. And again, it doesn't matter which one we pick. So maybe pull this guy out and on the selection. Uh, using shift and all the rest selectively. Just trying to bend. Oh, trying to bend out my... <laughs> Dude. Doing a great job there, Colin. Um, try and just bend it out a bit and get kind of what we want. That went out too far. It's not bad. Let's see, okay, and see what we ended up with there. Now we left all of these as is, so they should still be following the bottle surface. You can see it through the back here. It's still it's protruding a little tiny bit. So we just need to pull this out a bit. Now, before we do that though, let's figure out, can we crease this? Let's just do a little test. Pick those guys, crease. It's gonna give us a lot of sort of interface, okay. Let's try the bent up view. Oh, nice. It's not bad. So this is touching here, so we'll pull it out very slightly. You can see the face uh, interference. So if you watch quite closely here, you can pull it in. There it is sticking in the face. And there it is not. So it's quite a subtle but good thing. Uh, the same up here. We can get that one sorted out a little tiny bit. So this is a much better way than trying to zoom the entire part. So now we're grabbing at the top and on the underside. It's kind of good. It's still sticking out a little far. So we can see what's going on here. I can't really pull it in. So I need to adjust some stuff here. Maybe this guy. Hmm. Let's 
maybe not feasible because of the way it's built up. Nope. Lost my selection. Uh, it is actually the way it looks. Like for example, this one right here does bend out. It's not that bad. So let's see. Got quite a good story there. Crimped nicely. 20. Now, one caveat here is something to keep in mind. Be a little careful uh, accepting the finish form. Once you do this, you'll end up with a ghosted version, the same as this bottle here, uh, which is made for, you know, we want to be able to uh, shift and see what we're shifting from and to, but this is not too bad. Let's try it. Finish the form. Uh, I'm gonna hide the bottle and my analysis. Let's have a look here. We can also do an inspection for curvature map analysis for this shape. This is quite complicated. Uh, your analysis are usually selective, so we can only usually see one at a time. Let's just look at our curvature map. It's not too bad. Right, we've got stuff that we would like to control. If you activate this again while this is while this analysis is turned on, you can actually see the effect if you wish. So if I edit this form, pull this guy. Oh, this guy out. Watch what happens to this surface analysis. There we go, got rid of that. So, see if we can fix them all up to get smooth curvature. That's all we're doing here. No, it's going the wrong way. It's hard to get rid of some of it. You can, it's because of the wave these free forms work. It's hard to get everything perfect. But I'm just going to try and get some, keep the curvature as smooth as I can. So I'm just trying to get them to join. I don't want dead spots. This guy is a little lumpy. If, oh, pulling the wrong way. Let's try and get a smoother curvature here. Yeah, and it is completely janky because of the way right, it looks like a fractal, but what it's doing is showing us what is behind here. So there's a tessellation uh, part behind there. It's about as good as I can get it. Let's see the old face. Say okay to all that and finish the form. Does some work. Again, you can turn off your analysis. And we can see here that we're actually gripping, sticking right into the bottle. I, for me, this is okay. This is quite close because we are gonna be, this is the inside of our part. So we can see where we're gripping here. We're holding on to this and the corner and the underside importantly. So this is not bad, it gives a good seal. Like it's not protruding right through if we want to fix this. So just out of interest, excuse me. So we were trying to get our uh, curvature sorted out. Let's have a look at that again. So one thing we could do is for example, pull the whole thing out perhaps. Uh, easier said than done to select that guy. And then you realize, oh, hold on, I can go this way. I can go this way. <laughs> I'm getting this corner here, sorry. Let's go to a specific point. Good Lord. Come on, Colin. There we go. Edit form. Keeping an eye on 
this very ghosted in thing here. So we could, for example, turn off our curvature. Oh, nice one. Lose our selection. Let's do that again. Getting better at it. So I'm trying to get rid of these intersections or overlaps or faces hitting each other. Let's pull it out ultra carefully. There we go. Nice. We've got a, the tiniest little thing here. That's fine. Haven't wrecked our, apart from this little guy here, it's probably nothing we can do about that. Looking good, finished form. Now, can we thicken this? That'll be the next event. Let's hide the bottom for now. First, in the surface, go ahead here and patch. Mm, easy, does work. We don't need a rail because it's gonna be Oh, maybe. Let's see what we've got here. These are all just connected. Can we make them tangent? Can we select a bunch at once? Let's try that. Nope. Nope. We have to do them all at once, or maybe. Oh, hold on. We can group the edges. Nice. Tangent. Really flat, see how good. Nice work. However, we now have two bodies. Stitch them. Body one and body two. Hopefully we see green. Nice. See how good. One body. Looking good. Now the moment of triumph or disaster. <laughs> See what we get, thicken. I've measured this, it's uh, about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 millimeters thick, depending on where I measure it, depending on the stretch. Uh, so I'm gonna go for, you can see me, I was testing before, 0 0.3. It's missing some stuff here, what's going on? So we've got a problem here. We can't fill it this guy. Oh, we can't thicken it because the crease is here. Now, can we do something to fix this? Well, maybe. Let's go for fill it. And let's go for 0 0.3. 0 0.2. Now, uh, this is all problematic, right? So what are we gonna do here? Can't get this sorted. So another way is to offset. We'll offset at point three. It's thinking. At least uh, I'm sitting here trying to figure out what to do. Let's try point two. I don't know if that took. So we've run into problems. What do we do? Turns out we can go back into this guy and add some things. Now, one of the problems we're running into is this crease. What if we just uncrease it? It's not quite what we want. It's giving us a, a nasty edge. What if we uncrease just the top?
This is maybe interesting, like it's close to what we actually see. Right, there is, it looks like a crease, but if we look further over here, it's actually creased down here, but not too much on the underside. So maybe this isn't so bad. Let's try that. Finish the form. Let's try a thicken. Seems to be working. But maybe before we do that, let's go to do and try that fill it again. Aha. That seems to work. So we were able to fill it, those creases now. Now can we try thicken? And there we go. Fill it of 0.3 and a thickened of 0.2, which actually matches the real part. Let's see if it goes for that. Doing a lot of work here. Let it run. Good surfacing. We got some overlaps before without that fillet. And there we go. Let's show the bottle. Turn on our analysis. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. It's gripping it. So we've got a little bit of a gap, which is normal. Like it's not completely down, as far as I can tell, on the glass. So but there's our gap. Now, one thing we could do is go back in here and fiddle this guy, make sure the height's correct. Let's just do a little tiny test here. So from this top surface to say here, 7.7, 7, it's not bad. It is between seven and eight millimeters. Uh, as far as I can tell from measuring from the top surface to one of these corners, or if it'll let me select. Show snaps. Yeah, it's it's gonna be picky. It's about seven or eight, that's good enough. Maybe just give us a, a show of that. But if you're within this edge on the bottom, you should be fine. And there we go. That's how to model our edge. No, sorry, cap, we won't get the edge. <laughs> And analysis turned off. And if we want, we can hide things and all the rest, but there we go. That's our final position. Thanks for watching. That was long and involved, but just give us the previews for the surfacing, stuff like that. And we can, uh, be happily working away. Again, this is attached not to the body, but to the surface body. Excuse me. Yeah, that seems to be lost. Anyway, as you go along, just make sure that you take screenshots of the analysis. It's back in my free form. Uh, and everything should be kosher. Uh, for those who would like to know uh, what we're looking for, I'm going to be after looking at this uh, cap and let's go for volume 
uh, we've got 244 here. We'll, I'll give you quite a bit of leeway uh, on this guy because you know, it's, it's quite a bit of vagaries. So, cap. Uh, I've got 244 plus or minus however many. I'll think about it. Uh, but we're not going to go crazy here um, with that sort of stuff. So, however, just take some screenshots of the curvature map, uh, give us some section analysis to show us that the body is nicely positioned. It's grasping, but not too crazy. Like it shouldn't be poking into the glass, which is key, but it should kind of come down and around it. If you follow the construction method here, we should be okay. And there we go. Over to you, free forming bottle caps to the nth degree. Uh, thanks for watching.